Welcome to Northern Lights over Aka. I'm JP and this time I'm testing out a new deck that I'm uh, building. It's called the Winchester Gym deck. It's a Gym Culver deck that uses the 35 caliber Winchester card that's uh, released in the dark side of the moon mythos pack. Let's look at the deck a bit before we start. So the deck is a basic uh, gym deck that utilizes some of the ability to get skulls drawn. But the main thing in this deck is to try to get the right chaos tokens to fire off the Winchester's ability to do plus two damage. So uh, there's Olive, Olive McBride and Premonition and also Eat Lead. All of these cards uh, will rise the probability of drawing either a Elder Sign, a zero or a plus one to fire off the Winchester. Basically uh, the Winchester is considered a binder for their card but I really like the challenge of trying to make it work. Well, I haven't played this deck at all yet, so really interested to see how it does in this scenario. And the scenario we're playing this time is the Curtain Call and the Return to Version of it from the Path to Carcosa cycle. So let's get started. If you like my content, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. I've pre-shuffled the decks, so I'll draw the opening hand of 5 cards. So we replace the final Rhapsody. And we got a Dark Prophecy, Premonition, Shriveling, Overpower and Sixth Sense. I'll keep the Sixth Sense as we need something to get the clues. But I think I'll just mulligan all of these and try to draw into the Winchester. So we got our other combo pieces. We got Olive McBride, the Winchester, Read the Signs, and Enchanted Blade. Okay, so we get to try out the Winchester. Olive McBride combo really fast and that's that's quite decent just a quick shuffle for the deck and let's start playing okay so first action I think I will just play well, there's still no enemies, so I think I'll set up a bit first before playing the Winchester. So we need to get clues right from the start, so I'll play the Sixth Sense. And I really don't have other... Well, I could play Olive McBride, so I take one resource and play Olive McBride down. Oh yeah, uh, actually I don't need to take the resource because Olive is only two costed. But I think I'll still take the resource as the last action. So I'm starting to build up my resources towards the Winchester. Okay, that's the first round done. No enemies, so we go to upkeep. I draw final Rhapsody. Okay. Well, let's see how, how many horror Jim takes. So, first token is a minus four, then we draw a minus three, plus one, a zero, and one elder sign. So we dodged that weakness totally. 
that's a good thing. And we get one resource, so we still need a couple of resources to play down the Winchester. So that's that turn, let's go to the next turn. Okay, so we add one Doom to the agenda. It has a threshold of 6. Doom. We get an encounter card and it is a fanatic. It spawns at a location with the most clues. Well, there are no clues yet anywhere, so I think I'll just put the fanatic onto the balcony. It just stays there. Uh, so that's the mythos phase. We go to the investigation phase. I think I'll just play down the Winchester this turn. So first two actions is to take two resources. And the third action is to play down the Winchester. And it has five ammo on it. And there's a misprint on the card that it doesn't use any ammo, but it has been corrected that it uses when activated the fight ability one ammo per action. So there's five ammo there. That's our turn. Enemy phase, nothing happens. We go to upkeep. Get one resource and we draw eternal form. And that is the turn. Let's go to the next turn. We start by adding one Doom to the agenda and drawing an encounter card. It's a swarm of rats. Okay, so... I think we'll just punch the rats. No point in using the Winchester to hit them and I'm a fight three so minus two or better and we get a minus one so the rats are dead second action I'll move to the backstage and as a fourth action we take four of the backstage cards and pick two at random and there's also one clue here. Okay, so let's just pick these two and put these back out of play. So... I think I'll just head down to one of these locations, so... Let's, let's pick this one. Okay, so it is the prop shop. It has a shroud of seven and one clue and one victory point. And fourth ability after you fail a skill test while investigating the prop shop, take one horror. And I will lower the shroud value for each horror on me. So I think we'll just head back to backstage and try to investigate from there using the sixth sense. So that's my turn, no enemy actions. And we go to upkeep, I draw David Renfield and I get one resource. And that is our turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add the third Doom onto the agenda, and the encounter card is Maddening Delusions. It searches, and if I had any hidden cards, I would take one horror. So the search card is Painful Reflection. When you would play an event, reveal a po random token from the Chaos Bank. If it's a bad symbol token, Cancel that event, take one horror and discard this. So it comes into play in our threat area. Uh, I won't be staying here to investigate, so I'll move back to backstage. 
I'll use six cents to investigate. So I'll use Olive McBride to draw three cards. Uh, I mean three chaos tokens and choose two of them. So I get a skull, which is a zero for Jim. I get a minus four and a minus uh, a minus three and a minus four. So unfortunately, even as we can investigate this location using this location's shroud, we only have a four of will, so minus three is too much. So the investigation fails. That was a bit of unlucky. Uh, I think I'll just try again. So this time we just investigate without any any special tricks and using the six tens. And we get the auto fail. So no luck there. Okay. Uh, Jim is proving to have some trouble getting any clues, but hopefully we can turn that around next turn. We go to upkeep because no enemy face, uh, so Dark Prophecy will help a lot for the next investigation and we get one resource. So that's that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add another Doom. And the encounter this time is a fanatic. I think I'll spawn it here. So it picks up the clue. Actually, we could spawn it in the prop shop. It picks up the clue, we head there and try to kill the fanatic. And we get the Blue after we defeat it. Maybe that's that's smarter. So let's put the fanatic in the prop shop and head down there. So first action I'll move into the prop shop. The fanatic engages us. Uh, second action I'll fight. And I'll use Olive to shoot and pick three and yeah, shoot with the Winchester. So my fight is now five versus two, uh, five versus three, and we pick three tokens. Uh, we pick the zero and the skull. So as we get the zero, the Winchester fires off and we defeat the fanatic and we get the clue. So, first shot and we manage to fire off the Winchester. That feels nice. And the last action, I think I'll just move back here. Okay, well, we're not doing really well. Uh, we should be trying to move a bit faster. But let's see if we can pick up the pace. So enemy face, the other fanatic is not doing anything there. So we go to upkeep, so we draw another card. We get Jim's trumpet. It's basically a uh, three wheel boost card in this scenario because we're just keeping the Winchester in play. So Jim's trumpet won't, won't show up in play. That's at least the plan. And we get one resource. Okay, that's that turn. Let's uh, actually, I think I already added the resource. So that's that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We are at five of six doom, so the agenda will advance shortly. We get an encounter card, and it is melancholy. 
Melancholy is uh, put Melancholy in the play in your threat area. Increase the resource cost of each card in your hand by one. At the end of your, the, your turn test will three if you succeed discard Melancholy. Okay. Um, we need three clues, so I think the first action will check out this other backstage. And it's the trapped room. There's one clue here, and we search for a swarm of rats and spawn it here. So I think we'll just punch these rats and try to investigate once here. Okay, so shuffle the encounter deck a bit before putting it back. And. Okay, so I think I'll commit the enchanted plate to this test. I'll just punch the rat, so I'm four versus one. I get a zero, so we kill the rats. And the last action I'll investigate, and I use sixth sense. I'll use olive. And I'll commit Jim's trumpet to the test. So my willpower is now 7. So I pick 3 tokens. And we use the skull and the minus 2. So actually, I think because I can. Use the skull to investigate a connecting location. I'll just pick the clue from here. Next turn I can investigate this again. And that's my turn. So nothing in the enemy phase. We go to upkeep. I draw drawing the sign. So my maximum hand size is reduced by 5 while checking your hand size during the upkeep phase and two actions I can discard it. So I'm over my hand size by one. I think I'll discard Renfield. So yeah at the end of the turn I'll test melancholy. Mm, I think I'll commit Ethereal form, or actually, I'll commit the dark prophecy to the test. So I'm five versus three. It's a zero with Jim's ability, so we get rid of the melancholy. And that's the turn. So let's go to the next turn. We get six tombs onto the agenda, so the agenda advances. And we put the royal emissary into play. And it spawns in the theater. And the encounter card is visions in your mind. Uh, Peril hidden, so we add it to our hand. When your turn ends, if you did not perform at least one play action during your turn, discard this card from your hand and take one direct damage and horror. So I think we'll just let that let that activate. So nothing that serious. Uh, first action we'll investigate. I'll use uh, Olive McBride for the test. Uh, so we get the Elder Sign and a Skull, so we pick those two, so it's with Jim's effect it's just plus one. So we beat the test easily, we get the clue. 
and we have three clues so we'll advance the act so we shuffle up all of the set aside locations at random put one of these in the play and we spawn the man in the pallid mask to it so I'll shuffle these and it will be the location underneath okay so we get a lobby location here and the man in the pallet mask spawns there and I already uh, pre-shuffled the act two cards and picked one at random so that's done and we continue and now the objective is to discard man in the pallet mask so that we advance uh, second action uh, just thinking should I do something so yeah uh, there's nothing much to do and uh, maybe we'll just move here and get one resource actually we could uh, yeah we, we can't do that there's no nothing to evade here I think I'll just take one resource and that's the turn so the royal emissary moves here it hits us for two damage and also end of the enemy phase each investigator takes one horror, so I'll put it on Olive. And that's the enemy phase. We go to upkeep, I draw one card. Oh yeah, and at the end of my turn I didn't get this, so it activates and get another read the signs. Okay. And we get one resource. So that's that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We get one doom on the agenda and an encounter card, and it is Black Star's Rise. Test knowledge 4. If you fail, you must either place one doom on the current agenda or take one horror for each point you fail by. I'll just test it. I won't boost it with anything, so I'm uh, 3 versus 4, uh, minus 4, I'll just put the doom onto the agenda. Okay, uh, then we would need to fight the Royal Emissary. First action I'll shoot with the Winchester, I'll use Olive. So we pick three tokens and looking for a zero plus one or an elder sign. We didn't get it, so we do one damage because we hit with those two. And I think I will as next action. Use ethereal form. We'll evade. So I'll add my agility to my will. Uh, so I'm evading 6 versus 2. It's a plus 1. So the royal emissary is evaded. And for the rest of the turn, no enemies can engage me or and I can't damage them or they they can't damage me okay uh, I'll move to the theater 
and in the enemy phase nothing happens. I'll take one horror at the end of the enemy phase. Then we go to upkeep, I draw over power and get one resource. And that's that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add another Doom onto the agenda. And the encounter card is Spires of Carcosa. So this is quite bad. Uh, we are one Doom away from advancing, so I think we'll need to back back up and uh, deal with the Royal Emissary. Or we could investigate and move. I think I like that better. Actually, I'll just play read the signs here and investigate. So I'm 7 versus 2. Get a plus 1. And instead of picking up clues, I'll remove 2 Doom and this gets discarded. Uh, second action, I'll move here. Bobby has one clue. We really don't need that clue now. And the last action, I'll just move to the lobby location with the man in the pallet mask. So it's the light box. And there's one clue here. And so each card in my hand has the added resource cost of two. I think I'm not playing any any cards here. Just try to kill off the man in the pallet mask next turn. So the Royal Emissary moves to the theater in the enemy turn. We go to upkeep. We draw one card. And we gain one resource. So that's that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add another Doom. And the encounter card is... A poltergeist. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, so seems like we need to deal with the poltergeist first. And next turn. Uh, yeah. I think next turn we will have to move to the lobby and defeat the Royal Emissary to reset the agenda. So this turn I'll uh, parlay with the Poltergeist of the first action. I'll use Olive for this parlay. So I'm testing uh, four versus three. I get a plus one and a minus one. That's good. So one damage to the poltergeist. And I'll parlay again. So five versus three. Uh, minus two. So we just managed to defeat the poltergeist. And uh, last action, I draw one card, so I get uh, prepared for the worst. And the enemy face, the Royal Emissary moves here. We take one horror, and that's the enemy face. So we go to upkeep, I draw another card, get six cents and one resource. So that's that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We are at 5 of 6 Doom, so we really need to defeat the Emissary to reset that. We get the visions in your mind, uh, death. Uh, if I don't do a move action, I'll take one damage and horror. It will be moving. 
So I'll move to the lobby. I'll fire up the Winchester. I'll actually commit this prepared for the worst to the test. I'll use Olive to draw three tokens. So we get a zero and a skull, and we hit and do three damage. So the emissary is defeated. Goes into the victory display. And we reset the agenda to back to Agenda 1A, and there's three Doom on it. The last action will move back to the light box. Okay, uh, enemy face, nothing happens. We go to upkeep. We moved, so I don't get to discard this. Uh, we draw drawn to the flame. I'll discard the sixth sense. And we go to the next turn. Oh yeah, we get one resource. So let's go to the next turn. So we add another Doom. So we're at 4 of 6 on the Agenda 1. And the Encounter card is... Melancholy. So cards in my hand cost one more. Well, not playing anything here. So... We will... Just engage the man in the pallet mask. That's our first action. Second action will fire the Winchester. I use Olive again. And I'll commit overpower to the test. So we get a zero, a plus one, and an auto fail. So we'll pick the zero and plus one. So we hit and do three damage. We one shot the man in the pallet mask. And we advance. So I'll move the man in the pallet mask into the lobby. We add Two Elder Thing tokens to the Chaos Pack. And we place Horror tokens onto each private location. Uh, yeah, and actually, one thing I forgot is to when I first enter the lobby, there should be two extra pri private locations here. Okay. Doesn't matter because we weren't going there anyway. And when I would move a location with the horror token, I test agility 2. If I fail, I take one damage and cancel the effect of the move. Limit once per round. Okay. And, well, I think we'll try to move out. So, 2 versus 2. I get an Elder Sign, so I passed the test and I still moved this turn so I don't discard this card oh yeah that was only the yeah the engage attack and move so that was my turn no enemy phase we go to upkeep draw one card and it's David Renfield and we 
gain one resource. Okay, so let's see if we can pull a, off a win next turn by defeating the man in the pallet mast and resigning. So let's go to the next turn. We add one doom, so we're five of six. So we basically need to defeat the man this turn and resign so that the royal emissary won't spawn again. We get uh, twisted to his will. So we test will x, where x is the amount of doom. And if I fail, I discard two cards from hand. So I'll just commit this drone to the flame to the test. So I'm 5 versus 5. Elder sign, I'll pass. I'll keep David Renfield in my hand. And first action will engage the man in the pallet mask. Second action, we use Olive and the Winchester combo to shoot at the man in the pallet mask. So hopefully we can defeat him. So we get the plus one for the Winchester and we'll pick the skull as it is a zero. So we defeat man in the pallet mask. And last action I'll just resign. Okay, well, the Winchester team deck worked pretty much as I expected. Uh, there's of course the cha uh, chance that uh, you don't pull the plus one, the zero or the elder sign even with the help of Olive McBride. But in this, this game we were able to effectively use the combo of Olive and Winchester together to f defeat one fanatic, uh, the royal emissary and the man in the pallet mask two times. But yeah, uh, that was the game and uh, hope you like this deck. I'll put the deck list into the video description. So check that out and try it out for yourself. Other than that, thanks for watching and until next time.